Hello friends, welcome back to OK Java. Guys, in this video, we'll talk about one of the most frequently asked Java interview question. All right. So guys, the question is write a Java program to short the list of elements by using Java stream. Most of the interviewers will ask you to write code in a notepad. So as in this video, I will show you how can you write a program to short list of elements by using Java stream in a notepad. Okay. So we are not going to make use of any IDE. We'll simply use notepad to write our program. All right, guys. So that being said, let's begin the video. All right, guys. So the question is here. Write a program to sort list of elements using Java 8 stream. All right, guys. Now what I will do. Let me open notepad so that we can start writing our code. I'll just make it big. Let me increase the font size. Now, guys, very first thing. Let's create a class. So I'm writing my code here. Public. We are going to create a class. We are calling it Java 8 sorting. Very simple. Now guys here you have to make sure that you follow the naming convention as well. So Java class starts with a capital letter, right? Let's go and add man method. Okay. So public static void man string arguments close this one here. Okay. So far we are good. Now guys we have to create a list of integers. Okay. So what I will do here, I will create a list. Let me just call it list list of integer okay i'll call it list only guys i'm going to make use of arrays dot as list is a function in arrays class to create a list of elements right so what i will do i will simply use six seven and i will simply change it to some random say one one four sixty five say eighty six seventy seven say eighty and ninety nine i think good enough for our list okay all right guys or what you can do is you can also use list equals to new array list and then you can add elements okay that is also there now guys here we have we have used two things one is list interface and arrays class right so we need to import these two this is very important right so what i will do i will write import statement import java dot util dot list so list is the interface in java dot util package okay now guys for arrays also i will import import java dot util dot Arrays is a class okay in java dot util dot package and i'm using as list function from this class to create a list of integers all right guys now i will simply write a sys out here list equals to what i can do is list dot there is a function called for each okay what i will do i will pass element guys i'm writing a lambda expression to print the list okay to print the elements of list system dot out dot print ln and here i will pass the element okay so this is the very simple lambda expression now guys very first thing we have to sort list in ascending order or basically we call it default sorting order okay default sorting order all right so guys to sort the element in default sorting or in the ascending order java it stream has a function called sorted okay so guys what i will do now i'll take our list let's convert our list into a stream by calling a stream function and i'm going to make use of the sorted function so this particular function will sort the list of elements in a ascending order all right now guys i'm going to make use of the for each to print the list of elements right so what i will do this time i will use system dot out colon colon is method reference okay this is known as method reference all right so basically here we are printing the list of the elements all right so guys here let me just add a sys out here or i can simply copy from here to save some time default sorted okay so this is done so this is very easy we are simply calling a function sorted to sort the list of elements in the ascending order simple right now the next question is sort the list of elements in descending order okay descending order all right now guys how can we do that so first of all java stream api provides a function sorted but this time here you can pass a comparator okay so we are going to make use of the comparator to to sort the elements in the descending order all right guys so what i will do here i'll simply use again our list let's convert our list into a stream by calling stream function and this time i'm going to make use of the sorted but guys here we are going to make use of the comparator. So what I will do, I'll pass two elements. So E1 and E2 from our list. And I'm going to call a function 
guys here i will show you one more thing if i have to sort my list in the ascending order right say in the same order in the default sorting order i will use even dot compare to and i will pass e2 here so guys this order of elements is very important right and let me use for each okay i'll simply copy this thing from here to save little bit of time so guys now what i can do is let me do one thing i'll simply go here to list and then dot here sorted dot for each okay now guys the point is if i use even dot compare to e2 then we are talking about default sorting all right so guys this is very important the order of the elements we are passing two element even and e2 and then we are comparing even with e2 right sort our list in the default sorting order in the ascending order but we don't want that right what do you want we want to sort our elements in the descending order right so what i will do we'll pass e2 dot compare to even here all right guys so this will do our task it will sort our list in the descending order all right guys so basically here we are taking our list converting into a stream we are calling a function called sorted but this time we have used a comparator interface right so this is the implementation this is the lambda expression we are passing two elements even comma e2 and then we have used e2 dot compare to even right so basically this will if you use even dot e2 then it will sort your list in a default sorting order and if you want to do in the descending order you have to use e2 dot compare to even okay i hope this is clear now guys there's one more way to sort what you can do is now guys, what i can do is i can use even dot compare to e2 but i have to use even with negative sign minus even minus even dot compare to e2 right so guys this way it will sort your elements in the descending order all right guys so let me do one thing i'll just add a sys out here in the descending order sorted list all right so basically there are two ways if you guys are using even dot e2 then you have to use even with minus or you can change the order e2 dot compare to even it will do your task all right guys the interviewer can ask you can you capture the sorted list into a new list basically seven new list how can you do that so basically i will take list list of integer sorted list okay equals to what i will do i'll same list dot stream i'll use everything from here i can use minus even dot e2 or i can simply use e2 dot even same thing okay so i'll just do, do this and here i will guys here there is a function called collect okay to collect the list of elements so i'm going to make use of collector collectors dot to list is the function here because we have we are using collectors right so we have to add one more import here so what i will do i will use import java dot util dot stream dot collectors okay and now if i have to print this new list the sorted list i can simply use for each sorted list dot for each right i can pass say item or element doesn't matter whatever you want to call it you can call it system dot out dot print ln and i will pass the element ele here okay so guys this is done right so basically what we did initially we created a list of elements here by using as list function of arrays class and then we have simply printed the original list okay and then to print the list in a default sorting order we have used sorted function of the stream api okay that you can see here list dot stream to convert our list into a stream then we have called this sorted function all right then we have used for each function so guys the sorted function does your does the job it basically sort the list of elements in a natural sorting order right but in case if you have to do reverse if you have to sort your elements in descending order what you can do is you can you have to use the comparator okay so here we are passing two elements together even comma e2 and then we have used e2 dot compare to even so this particular thing will sort the list of elements in a descending order all right the other ways what you can do is you can use minus sign with the even minus negative sign even dot compare to e2 all right guys now the next thing interviewer can ask you to store the sorted list in a new list so what you can do is you can use the dot collect function with collectors dot to list all right guys now let me do one thing let me start the ide and i will run the same code in the ide let's see how it goes okay so let me just copy the class name first 
let me go to the id now guys here i am going to create a class with the same name new class java it's sorting okay okay now guys what i will do i'll copy the entire code from here from the import and everything control a control c let's go back here and i will paste everything here so let's see so i don't see any error except here there cannot be any space right let me just save and i'm going to run java application i don't see any error if i check the result let me just open the console here our original list okay which is not in any order so first we have what we did we have used the the sorted function to sort the list of elements in default sorting order right that you can see here 11 23 32 65 80 86 right so this is known as natural sorting order okay and then second if i go down here is descending order you can see right 99 94 86 and all right so i think this is twice why so i'll just do one more thing sorting order list say one and list two simple okay and here is i will add one more let me just call it sorted list only right so just to differentiate in the result section run a java application and if i bring it up i can see so if i use guys if i see here if we use e2 dot compare to it will sort our list in, in the descending order or the reverse order all right same can be done by using by using minus even dot compare to e2 right here you see the result all right and guys in case if you have to save the sorted list that is what we did here by calling the collect function here you can see right dot collect collectors dot to list all right guys i hope this is clear so guys basically you must know how to write code in a notepad all right guys so guys here we are done with this video thank you for watching and please do subscribe to the channel